Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for September 2022. I do hope you guys had a great week. Um, I do want to let you know that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Also keep in mind that the monthly readings are predictive in nature. So if these events are not occurring for you right now, they may occur in the next few weeks. I will be announcing the giveaway from last month for the free personal tarot reading soon. And if you would like to qualify for the free tarot reading for the month of September, all you need to do is be a subscriber. Be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment. And I will put you into that drawing. All right, guys, let's get started. Spirit, can I have the energy of Aries? Aries. Oof. Okay, Aries. Now, this could be one of two things. It's the Ace of Cups in reverse. Now, you could have a new beginning trying to come in, or this could be an ending in love. It's crossed with the Magician in reverse. So, I, I don't know. It could be, really go either way. Um, something here is not materializing. It's not happening. It's not coming about the way you had hoped or wanted. Uh, let's see what happened in the past. The Queen of Swords. You might be involved with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you don't have to be. They could just have strong air in their chart, or they could just be encompassing those, um, or you, for that matter, could be encompassing those qualities. But I do feel that someone here got cut out in the past or somebody might be a little bit um, closed off. If this is a new beginning trying to come in, somebody might be kind of like, okay, I'm going to hear you out. I'm going to listen, but I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Um, we'll have to clarify it to see. Let's see why all this is happening. Page of Cups. Yeah, it looks like it's a new beginning here. There's something new. Something new with love. Let's see what's on your mind. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You might be thinking it's too good to be true. Yeah, a lot of you may be thinking this is just too good to be true. Um... It could be somebody here that's younger than you, um, and it, you might just be thinking, I don't know. I don't know about this. Um, for some of you, there could be something that's had to end because you may have your eye on someone else. Um, and if that's the case, you may be feeling like uh, things took a turn for the worse. You might be thinking thinking to yourself that you're you're a little stuck here. All right, so let's see what's happening in September that you may not see coming. Show me September for Aries. The sun in reverse. Yeah, <laughs> so the Spirit's saying there's something hidden. There's something that you 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 aren't clear about. Something that is, um, it's not clear at this time. But now this is how you start out September. It doesn't mean that's how you end September. For some of you, because if you notice in this particular deck, we have a person who's pregnant here. Now, there could be a, a pregnancy that you don't know about or that's hidden. Let's see how you're showing up. The Seven of Swords in the reverse. So something may be revealed to you or has been revealed to you that has been a little bit shady. Um, you may feel that if you've done something that's shady, you might have gotten caught. Um, or it could be that you have found something out about someone else. Um, this isn't always about shading material, though. This could also be about strategy or planning. And it could indicate that you're not really planning things. You're, you have a lack of strategy in your life right now. And for some, this is avoidance. Um, there could be a situation that in the past you've avoided and now you are 
you're not avoiding any longer. The energy coming towards you is the Three of Cups in the reverse. This could be a reconciliation that did not happen. It's a, uh, somebody's not happy though. It's somebody approaching you that's not, not happy about something. Spirit's advice is the Four of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So pull back and, you know, do some healing, reconsider, think about things, um, and what are you thinking about? Whether or not you should walk away, whether or not this connection is going to fulfill you. So when you walk away in the Eight of Cups, it's walking toward, it's walking away from something that doesn't fulfill you and walking towards what does fulfill you. So basically what Spirit is saying here is pull back and take some time to heal your energy and to figure out what it is that's going to fulfill you. Do you need to move forward or do you need to, to stay put? Um, let's look at your outcome. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Fool in reverse. So something that is moving very slowly. So it's slow, but it's um, consistent. And it could be this new beginning that's trying to come in. But it's moving extremely slow. So slow that you may be thinking it's never coming. Bottom of the deck is the star. Now this is underlying energy and it does speak of hope. There's a lot of hope here. Um, it's all about healing and hope and, you know, it's just a very positive card. And that's the underlying energy, which is very positive. So let's clarify, Aries. Spirit, why is the Ace of Cups in reverse? the ace of cups in reverse thank you okay so we have the seven of wands reversed and we have temperance in reverse yeah somebody's not fighting for for this um because of a, a sense of imbalance or or not being able to hear the guidance so they're not someone's not standing up for this. Um, if this is a new beginning, then someone's not fighting for it. They're not standing up for it. They're not, um, they're not standing their ground with regard to this. It's almost like it's being defeated by, um, outside forces or people. And so it's not coming about because someone is just emotionally imbalanced and not, not standing up for it not doing what it takes to bring it in. Now, if this is an ending, again, it's because somebody refused to fight for it and it, it looks like it was taken down from outside of the connection. And there's definitely a sense of healing that needs to take place here. Um, why is the magician in reverse? It really looks like this is a beginning that is trying to come in but they're, somebody here is unbalanced. They're considering more what other people are saying and thinking about this than what, what you and they are thinking and saying. And so they're not fighting for the connection. Ten of coins reversed. And again, we have that queen of swords. Now the Queen of Swords could be who is cutting, who is causing the problems here too. So it could be an air sign that is related to this, that is causing um, a lack of stability, causing loss here, causing things to not manifest. And it's because this this person um, may be giving energy, may be talking to one of the parties here and saying, you know, this is not a situation you should be involved in. It, it definitely feels like it's a, there's a third party somehow. 
but it doesn't feel like a lover. It feels more like a mother, um, a sister, a, a friend. It feels like female though. Um, what is the Queen of Swords here? And it's a cold energy too. Queen of Pentacles. Now that can be a mother. Um, so it could be someone's mother or, or a baby mama. And the Queen of Wands. Oh my gosh. All these queens. All these queens. Okay. So there's still a lot of people here. There's a lot of people here. And someone in this mix is very sensitive to... Which queen is not here? You've got pentacles, wands, swords, queen of cups. <laughs> figures. It figures. Okay, so you. it looks like there are just so many people that are advising one party here. It could be a mother. It could be a, a sister. It could be a friend. But they they seem to be female. So I don't know if they're, and and it could be that there's somebody that the, this person is involved with as well, but not in a serious way. The person who has the most influence though is this Queen of Swords. That's the reason why things are not manifesting. That's the person who is spearheading this. So there's a new beginning in love that wants to come in. And you've got these people who may be interested in sex, money. But the one that is spearheading it is this Queen of Swords. And this would most likely be somebody who is divorced. Or... And doesn't necessarily have to be, but this person is spearheading it. This person would be kind of cold and cutting. And they're using cold and cutting words to, to prevent this beginning from happening. It's not manifesting. And so it's going to be a loss because the other person who they're whispering in their ear is not standing up to them. They're not fighting for the connection. Wow, what a shame. All right, let's uh let's see why the page of cups is here. I mean, I just get this energy of gossip and you know, like somebody is just being nasty towards the other person and And it's difficult to say if it's you, Aries, they're being nasty to, or if if it's your person. Um, and that might be because it's both ways. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Hermit. Now, underlying this, like I said, for some of you, and it may be very few, there, there's a pregnancy. There's a pregnancy here. And somebody is is considering telling about this telling the other person they they've been quiet about it they haven't said anything and they're considering communicating it um it may be communicated via text i wouldn't do that but for that person or group of people that's in that situation this would have been a very new connection and it, it has the ability to be a long-term connection, but there's a pregnancy that occurred and it's hidden. No one knows about it. And you're considering telling that person, you're, you're thinking about it. You haven't yet, but you're considering it. Now for, of course, that's not many of you, or otherwise we'd have a whole lot of pregnant people. But um, for most of you, this is a very new relationship. And it's being affected by all these, and it looks like women that are catty and nasty. 
And I'm telling you, there's one, this Queen of Swords is the one that's spearheading it. The others listen to her. Um, and as a result, the person that's being talked about, they've kind of pulled back. They, they're kind of trying to figure out what the heck is going on here. You know, this is very new. And I think that they're trying to figure out what's going on and what they should do about it. There's a, there's a thought about possibly communicating or it could be the other person wanting to communicate. I think it's the other person is wanting to communicate with the one that's pulled back. So it's the person who has all these influences that wants to communicate. But that's not what's needed here. What's needed is for you to stand up for the connection against these other influences. All right, so let's see what's on your mind, Aries. It's, it's difficult for me to say which, who is who here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? King of Swords reverse. And the Two of Cups reversed. Yeah, so what's on your mind? You might be feeling that this is not the right timing. That the timing is off. And you could be, you could be feeling upset or angry. You might be feeling, um, you might be feeling like you just don't see eye to eye with this person. That things are... That, that you're not on the same page with this person. So I feel like, Aries, you're the one who's being talked about. You're the one who is kind of pulled back and not communicating. And it's the other person that's not standing up for this connection that has all these people in their ear. That's the way it feels. So I feel like you, you've pulled back from the connection not because you don't love the person, but because of all these shenanigans. You're not happy with the way this is going. You feel like you're stuck. You don't know what to do. You're not on the same page with this person. You may have even had an argument with this person about all of this. All right, so let's see what's happening here in September. September, why is the sun in reverse? Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups reversed. We have the Three of Coins reversed. The Empress reversed. Now, I, I have to point out that the Empress is pregnant. We have the High Priestess reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. And the Sun in reverse. Now, all of your cards are reversed here for September, Aries. So, I do see you go in through quite a bit of stress. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a stressful month. I'm sorry, but that's what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, I, I am seeing that. Again, I'm, I'm seeing that there's a pregnancy here that may be hidden. It's not out in the open. And in addition to that, we have this new beginning in love or this new love that's trying to happen but there's a lack of foundation in, in play. And that foundation, that lack of foundation is because you've got people in your person's ear that's, that's destroying the foundation, that's preventing it from, from coming in. 
this could even be a soul contract. And if this person that you're involved with doesn't stand up for it, they're breaking a soul contract. Now, I do see by mid-month, you are feeling very disrespected, feeling like this is not going to go anywhere, even though you have feelings for this person. And I, I'm also seeing that if there is a pregnancy that that's going to come out in about the third week of September, that secret is coming out. But you still have all this stuff going on. Um, I'm also seeing that you're having a hard time um, because there may have been an ending here or a feeling of betrayal at the minimum. But I do see towards the end of the month, you kind of, kind of beginning to get over that, kind of moving past that. Um, or the other person, if there's a, if the pregnancy comes out, they may initially feel betrayed, but they're going to come, they're going to move past that. And then we end again with the sun. And this time in the, with the sun, it's not a pregnancy, but it's a child. So obviously you're not going to have a full pregnancy in a month, but this tells me that there's a, nobody knows what to do about this pregnancy about this baby um so you you about mid-month the or about i'd say the third week of the month the secret comes out but at the same time nobody's like knowing what to do here you're kind of in the dark um it's a stressful month now, if there is no baby, no no child, this is just the, the birth of this new relationship here. And it's just, it's, um, it's a relationship that's trying to come in. There's no groundwork being laid for this. And it's because, Aries, you're not being treated properly. And it's, you're not being treated properly because you have all these snippy little gossipy women who are in your person's ear and this person is not standing up for the connection even though their their guidance is telling them to do so they're not doing it and it's preventing this connection from coming coming through they're unable to hear their own and trust their own inner guidance and so they're, the disrespect is in the fact that they're not standing up for the connection, which is leaving you feeling betrayed. Now, I do feel that by the end of the month, the connection is going to solidify. It's going to begin to solidify because we have the pregnancy and we have the baby, but it's going to be kept quiet. It's going to be kept quiet at least initially no one's gonna know and that's I, I don't think it's gonna stay that way but I do think that it initially no one's gonna know and it's probably because the two of you want to protect your connection from these other people there's just entirely too many people involved in this connection and and that's crazy like that's inappropriate all right, so let's see how you're showing up. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, so we have the Chariot reversed. We have the Six of Wands reverse, and then we have the Hierophant. Yeah, so there could be some secrets that come out. Some, uh, you know, there could be also some deceptive stuff that's going on, and I guarantee that. But I don't think it's deceptive on your behalf. I think you're finding out about these people that are involving themselves, you know, in your connection. 
so inappropriate. Like, I don't even like that. I don't even like that energy on my table. It makes me mad. But you find out about this, it makes you feel like um, things are not moving forward in a successful manner, that there's no way this is gonna be a successful connection. And yet, by the end of the month, we see a commitment. And that, that goes right along with what I'm seeing here. So it's gonna be a stressful month. Um, let's see the person's energy coming towards you. Now that's the Three of Cups in the reverse. So they're not very happy about the way things are going either. All right, so Four of Wands, Six of Cups reversed, and the Page of Wands. So yeah, they, want, they want a relationship with you. So they're not happy that things are not coming together. They want a relationship with you, but they realize that something or someone from the past has got to be released or dropped. And they're going to do that. They're going to bring in the good news, which is this commitment. And they're going to tell someone from the past to go kick rocks. Because they're not happy about this either. But it, the problem is, is it took them a while to stand up for this connection. They weren't fighting for the connection. They weren't standing up. And it's causing a lot of needless stress. So I... If you're watching this and you're the one that has all the people in your ear, I I would highly suggest that you don't delay. You just immediately say, look, this is my relationship and you're not involved. All right. Five of coins. Nine of wands reversed. And the knight of pentacles reversed. Yeah, so this makes a lot of sense now. So, in Spirit's advice, Spirit's saying, pull back, really think about this before you walk away. Um, because we see you contemplating that, thinking about that. And so, I do feel that you initially do pull away. The other person's going to feel rather abandoned. They're going to feel, and you probably do, you probably feel very left out in the cold, very abandoned here. You're feeling this loss because you're feeling like this is never going to work out. But, and it goes from being something that is moving slow to like ground to a halt. Again, you feel like it's not going to work out, but we see that the problems are worked out. Now, there's a price that's being paid here. Um, you know, it, it, Spirit is saying you can work these problems out but it's there's going to be hurt involved there's going to be hurt it's going to bring up feelings of loss and abandonment feeling stuck but you can work this out if you want to you will be able to work this out and so and you'll have to be able then to put this behind you once you work it out you're going to have to put it behind you you can't keep bringing it up all the time so Spirit's advice here is slow down, go within, take a minute to heal your energy before you walk away. And that even though these feelings are very valid, that, that they can be worked out and you can put it behind you. Now let's look at your outcome. Cards are flying all over the place. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. We have the King of Wands in the reverse. And we have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so we have this situation where things are moving very slowly. Um, it's an offer that's moving towards a, a new beginning, like a, taking a risk, taking a leap of faith into a new beginning. And it's just kind of moving slow. It's moving very slow. Well, why? Well, because of these people. <laughs> I'm going to say people. Um, and they're doing a lot of talking. So we have the King of Wands here not doing anything, not taking any action. That's why... It looks like this isn't even ever going to happen. 
It's never going to happen because your person's not doing anything. But then we get very quick communication. Something fires this person up. Something fires them up and they come rushing in very passionately and they want to clear everything up. They want to clarify it. They want to clear it up. They want the truth told. They want, you know, communication. And I feel like it's you pulling back and looking at the situation. This person, they do have feelings for you. I think they were just blindsided as much as you were. Because this is new for both of you. I think they were as blindsided as you were. And I don't know why people have to be nasty, but this is nasty energy. And somebody interfered here. And it's going. there's going to be a talk. There's going to be communication. And it's going to clear this up. So I see this coming in by the end of the month. But initially it's going to be kept quiet. It's going to be... You know, you're not going to just tell everybody. And that's because the two of you may want to look at this and explore this without everybody else being involved. So, it's actually, it's going to be a stressful month, Aries, but it's got a good ending. All right. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This tells me, it's underlying energy, tells me that, you know, you are ready for this connection. It's a card of being ready for um, a commitment, ready for a relationship, ready to be in a relationship. And I do feel that you are ready. I think both of you just get blindsided with this, these people. All right, I'm going to pull an oracle for you. See if we have any further advice. All right, Aries. You have Dolomite. It says, stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. Perfect. And I do see a very positive outcome happening here. So keep a positive um, mindset. And that positive outcome is coming, all right? It, it may be a stressful month, but it's going to end well. Keep a positive out, outlook. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you are interested and would be delighted to have a personal tarot reading, then all you need to do is subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also drop a comment. Very interesting read, guys. I look forward to seeing you in the weeklies. Until then, namaste.